<laughs> Our next guest is a 14-year-old young man from Alabama, and he invented a vending machine for first aid products. He's brought it to New York's Tech Crunch event. Here he is. Taylor Rosenthal, 14 years old. You got a round of applause from the ladies in the crowd. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Okay, how did you come up with the idea? Tell me. Um, I started out in an eighth grade class called the Young Entrepreneurs Academy. And it's a class that helps you start up your own company. And so they said one night go home and brainstorm an idea. So I played baseball for 10 years now, and every time I get got hurt at a travel ball tournament or something, nobody could find a Band-Aid. And I kind of wanted to come up with something to help that. So Really? Yes. You, just got, you went to a baseball game, somebody had a minor injury, nobody had a Band-Aid, so you, prevent, you create a vending machine for Band-Aids and the like. Yes. Well, that's not bad. Now, as I understand it, you're a very smart young man, and you figured out that if you sold these products, first aid stuff, You'd have to pay somebody to sell them. You don't like that. No. Mm. That's why you went the vending machine route? Yes. I actually, my first uh, original idea was to start off sitting out, sitting at sporting events selling first aid kits that were already prepackaged. Mm -hmm. But I noticed how much it would cost to pay somebody a minimum wage to sit out at that tournament for six hours. Especially at $15 an hour, right? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> very true. Yeah. That's right. So the vending machine gets around the minimum wage cost and the cost of labor. Yes. Is it, is it a, I, we don't have one in the studio. Is it a special kind of vending machine uh, that you invented, or did you invent the, the products that go in that vending machine? We created the vending machine idea itself. We didn't yeah. actually create, like, selling. You like, didn't build a new vending machine. You built an idea as to what yes. to put in the vending machine. Yes. That's what you did. Yes. First aid products. Yes. Have you got it out and about yet? We have not. Not We're yet. We're hoping to... Start by the fall. Okay. Now, what's this about? You got a thirty million dollar offer for your company. Is that for real? Yes, it is. Who offered that? You don't have to use their name, but what kind of company or person offered the money? It was a major healthcare company. Mm. Really? Yes. And you turned it down. I did. I, I said earlier that you were a very smart young man. Um, what are you doing, turning down thirty million dollars <laughs> at the age of fourteen? Um, it took a while to think about it, but. Um, we had felt like the time wasn't right. We kind of wanted to grow and develop the company a little bit more. And maybe later in the run it would be worth a little bit more. There we go. Oh, really? You want to grow the value there of the we company? Go. What a strange idea in this day and age. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. That's a very good idea, young man. So what's your next step? You're going to actually get these vending machines out there with your first aid products in them? That's the next yes. step? Yes. Next step is to put our vending machines out on the market. How long will that take? Um, hopefully, we should have them out by the fall. I hate to do this, but if somebody offered you $50 million today for the idea, you would take it, wouldn't you? Yes. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> That's a fine young man. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Does your company have a name? It does. It's called RecMed. RecMed? RecMed. First Rec aid. Wait a minute. Spell it. R-E-C. RecMed. M-E-D. Yes. RecMed. That's the name of the company. Where does company. that come from? How do you, where do you get yeah. it? What is that? Um, we thought it was kind of a cool name, like recreational, ah. rec, and then medical okay. med. Okay. Have smart. you invented anything else? Actually, we have a second idea behind the first one. Of course. And you can't tell Probably. me that because I somebody would steal oh, it. Oh, that's they? right. Yes. Maybe if you put out for $50 million, you'd have your second idea roped in with the first idea to get the value up. Yes. Maybe. Fantastic, fantastic. Loving it. It was great to have you on the show, young man, and I hope you can come back and tell us how you're doing, Taylor, with your idea, because it's a very good idea, and you're a smart young guy. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good luck, Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.